the same time, I just thought I couldn't go live. <laughs> All right. Good evening, Star Wars fans. We are live. We are. I'm uh, Justin Mishir, Jag Tech, here with uh, Tim Simon Aglets. How are you doing today, Tim? Doing great. Doing great. Thanks, Justin. All right. So, um, we have a. Um, well, we have a live game later on, but for right now, we have a recorded game. This is the last game of the Elite Eight of the Game PC uh, between Charlie Arlinson and Tom Strether. Um, Tim, you can uh, you can see my screen now. Is it? Make sure I've got that right. Uh, I see your face. I don't see. Uh, okay, let me fix that. I don't see your um your share screen anymore. All right. I just started again. Is it working? Uh, it's thinking. I think. Okay. Give it a second. I see. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a second to load it up. Um, did you get to see the first game of their match? Because I I don't I didn't. I believe I did. Yeah, I think I saw uh, that that Charlie was Charlie dark in that one. Uh, Charlie would have been light in that one. Charlie was light in that one. Oh, I, I can't. Uh, it's, it slips my uh, slips my memory right now, but I, I can't remember what the what the matchup was. I think I can look it up pretty quickly, though. Um, I'm still not seeing your seeing your screen, unfortunately. Still not. Uh, okay. um, I think unfortunately, OBS is being troublesome with me trying to trying to. Stream my screen and do the stream. So I'm not sure why that is, but uh, we will uh, we'll kind of wrangle with it for this uh, for this replay one. Um, Tim, I guess if you watch on Twitch, you should be able to see it. So, and then for the live game that we have later, which will be Batmouse against the winner of this game, which we'll keep secret for the moment, um, that we'll be able to watch in game. So, uh, all right. Uh, if you're ready to go, Tim, we are going to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up. All right. And since uh, since okay. I can read it, I can kind of pause it as it goes. But um, Charlie. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, seeing it, I'm seeing it come through now. Okay. Uh, Charlie has uh, Invasion for us. I'm going to pause it right here while he's picking his starting effects. Um, uh, but, I'm get, hold on. I'm, I'm getting double audio here. I probably okay. I need to mute probably one of these. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Mute the Twitch stream if you're watching it. Um, and, Got it. Uh, okay. Anybody who's watching in the Twitch stream, oh, I guess actually um, Tim confirmed that he could hear us. So that's perfect. Um, yeah. One thing to keep in mind, this game was played about 12 days ago, or about 12 days ago. So this is before um, Nationals. Uh, and just based on what we're seeing here, this looks like a version of the invasion that uh, that Charlie played to uh, to the finals of nationals. Um, we can let him pick the rest of his starting effects here. Um, we have the saber, the lightsaber effect. Um, there will be no match for you, uh, as well as the begin landing your troops combo effect with the fighters. Oops, um, with fighters straight ahead. I'll pause this so we can look at stuff. Um, Okay. Essentially, an insurrection or a, a rest, imperial arrest order for Republic characters, and then the inconsequential losses, the weapon, uh, weapon forfeit effect. Um, on the okay. other side, Tom has uh, let the Wookiee win start here, with the Skywalker Hut that pulls three PO, and he's got Walkling Jedi business and insurrection combo. Um, quick right. look. Oh, go ahead. Okay, so, yeah, I, I did. Look some stuff up. It looks like the previous match was a uh, Charlie, no idea versus Tom with his uh, Jabba's Palace nine stack. Um, I think I think I did see that match up. So, uh, actually, I think I think was that the one where there was a little bit of a, a little bit of a mild uh, oh, rules that? issue where where uh, Tom would have, was it, was in the process of retrieving. I think when a uh, time was called, some, yeah, something like that. That was, that was a timeout problem in there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we can kind of take a look at Charlie's deck here as he's just going through turn one. Um, looks like a bunch of battle droid blasters. This looks pretty much like the deck he played at Nationals. Um, maybe a few changes in there that we'll see. Uh, I know I don't think he had a You'll Be Dead at Nationals, but um, otherwise looks pretty close to the Invasion deck he played there. Um, or I guess 
in this case, would play there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Time, time is weird. It's a flat circle, uh, or so I hear. Uh, um, uh, yeah, draw, drawing eights for a weapon about destiny is pretty good, so I hear. Yeah. So. Charlie seems to have forgotten what was in his text. He was verifying real quick before he uses his blockade flagship pull, because that's once per game. Not ideal, since you just looked at your deck. Yeah. It is what it is. Gets, uh, gets all to do fine. Kind of nice that he has the... the that's Tehau in hand, right? Uh, that is a um, Tehau. Although, although, it pro although I'm pretty sure Tom's probably not playing very heavy space with uh, the slight side, so he probably doesn't need to worry about re re reducing too much uh, yeah. too much force draining. Probably not. There was an Imperial Command there which picked up General Grievous, which is a pretty good deck, a pretty good card against a Jedi business deck. Um, For sure. And this Dolti Dauphine giving immunity attrition less than five. Um, I know there's, my team and I were discussing this, there was some some question about like, do you play the alt, the uh, regular Delta Do Find that gives you the redraw? I think for Charlie's build, this Delta this Delta Do Find makes sense because at least at nationals, there were only three battle droids in the deck. There weren't any other. He didn't have Owo with backup or any of the other ones. Um, oh, that's interesting. So only getting yeah. to redraw three things probably doesn't doesn't really make any doesn't really make too much difference. So I think the immunity to attrition uh, probably makes a bigger. A bigger impact. Yeah, yeah, I think that's. I think, I think that's definitely the way to go. Invasion doesn't usually have a super strong uh, space package. So usually, it's like this ship, and then maybe one, possibly two more. Um, so if you know, if you can keep that keeping that one blocking five ship alive is pretty key. Yeah, and then uh, Charlie playing pretty conservatively here, just <laughs> drawing up. He doesn't doesn't really need to be worried about uh, light side deploying to Naboo since. Uh, it's not a battleground as long as uh, Darks has not flipped. Ooh, so Tom's playing. Don't tread on me. V to get. Um, to pull uh, the sand, sand effect, nice. Ooh, it stacks the yeah. Jackson, nice and meditation. I don't feel like either of those are cards you want on sand, but. That's, yeah, nothing that's critical to him to get, you know, with a saber pull or some other kind of key man or anything either, though. So it's not. Not too bad. Yeah, it could be worse, Either. definitely. It could be worse. So we're getting now an entire Legion of Best Troops to make those blasters eights instead of sixes. So both of them are just kinda kinda playing the waiting game here. No one no one needs to make a move. Yeah, drop drop to fourteen and uh, keep do a staring contest. Yeah, it's sometimes sometimes that's the way it goes. Um yeah, so, interesting. Though. Yeah, again, yeah, maybe he's maybe he's thinking about a little bit of uh, protection there in case there's like a ta rogue Tanover or something. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think I don't think Tom is typically a, a Tan of four kind of kind of guy. But uh, no, I mean, but, 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 but you never know. Never yeah, know with him. Tan of four is definitely a uh, definitely a plausible space package these days. I see you mostly see Hanchu and the Falcon, right? But um, right. But yeah, there's certainly yeah. T -t Tom, yeah, Tom's known for playing Han Tree Falcon, and he, he really loves Leia's uh, resistance transport. Usually he plays uh, two copies of that. But oh, there's something. Tom just activated, so he has 19 force in his force pile, and then just passed. Didn't play anything. Didn't yeah, play anything. That's, that, that's another classic, uh, yeah. classic Tom move. All right, so it looks like Charlie's uh, making a move here. He's going to go with Lord Sidious and the B2 Bell, uh, B2 battle droid to the throne room. Yeah, man, give, give him a rifle. Yeah, why not? And we're adding a new gun. Nope. He's, I imagine he's, he's probably going to go for the flip here, I would think. I would thought so. He's, he's added P59 he's, now. And Grievous. Yeah, not not flipping. Just not go, not going for the flip. Uh, just a tent. And no, you'll be dead either, so really just a... Uh, that's just, that's just 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 a drain of one, I think, at this point, right? Isn't it just a drain bonus if uh if like gun rays there or something? Uh, it is a drain bonus with gun ray being there, yes. So um, which means one. it doesn't apply here. That All right, was... and so, so now we see uh Tom coming in with uh hot with the mains, but the, we had like what thirty some force to yeah. to work with here. Only two um, saved, so one would guess there's probably like um. Share it here. Oh no, Tom is going to deploy I'd, and pass. I'd be uh, I'd be surprised if he has share it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, maybe he doesn't want to attack because of the city of uh, exclusion text. He wants yeah. to. Uh, yeah, he wants, wants to, to be... force. Uh, wants to be battled into, and he wants to do more do more weapon swings and draw battle destinies, all that kind of stuff too. Obviously. Yeah. Um, oh, this sniper is interesting. So now, I'm probably shooting at Chewie. Uh, Tom playing the anti um, anti weapon lev shield, which makes sense. Weapon lev would be a pretty devastating blow here, <laughs> uh, especially because you could weapon lev with Definitely. Lord Sidious, and I'm pretty Definitely. sure you would actually be able to swing the saber. Um, although I think the uh, saber's with, with, inactive with, with 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 Grievous, though not not with uh not not with Sidious. I think. Uh, well, once or, you, or, or, once you, well, the Jedi lightsaber just says deploy on your character of ability greater than four. So once you control it, wouldn't Sidious block? Oh, that's right. Oh, yep, yep. You're right. Yeah. Now at the no, same that time, would, I, that would I, work. That would... I think when you steal the saber mid battle, it's inactive, right? So uh, I don't think so. I don't. Th I don't think so. As long as it deploys on the deploys on the person, I think Ooh. I think that should I think that should, I think that should work. Well, in any and case, no up. weapon left here, but. Here comes a uh, Brad IRV with uh, <laughs> well, the the blade of lightsaber, yeah. And there's the new there's the new gun race, a threatening multiple battle destiny here, and yeah, and a Maul, whole bunch of Maul, weapons. Maul really an excellent, uh, an excellent choice here. Taking out blaster uh, deflection, no wases, no dodges, you know, none of the none of the anti anti weapon tricks that light side might be able to use. So he goes first. He goes for mace first. Draws what, eight. Two? Uh, eight two. Yep, that'll hit. That'll that'll hit most characters in Star Wars CCG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes the swing back at Maul, and no surprise. No Phantom Menace. I'm a little a little surprised. Uh, I'm sure he plays multiple. Oh, yeah. there's the fly cat. There's the fly casual. I'm gonna have to eat my words about uh, a yeah, about, Tan about e Tanif. Either Tanif or Tidarium. Either one. Either one could be in play here. That's true. Tom is more likely to play Tidarium, I think. Um, Although, all right, so he gets he hits them all. Yeah. Although interesting aspect of that, Tidarium, Tidarium V loses the ability to deploy without icons. So you actually still you still wouldn't you wouldn't be able to play Tidarium V to Naboo here. Although you could play Tidarium non V. I don't think you would though. <laughs> That's a whole other level of tech that I, I, I don't <laughs> want to fathom if he's he's that far ahead. All of us. All right, so Maul hits both characters. Yeah. And now Mace Windu, so I, Mace Windu has the Jedi lightsaber non-V, which we pointed out before, but interesting aspect of that, um, Mace is a lot better on defense in terms of shredding people with weapons than he is on offense, since he doesn't reduce forfeit. Uh, oh, he's just going to play the Whis at a cyclet because eight is enough to hit Grievous either way. Yeah, yeah, Tom's a tracking, tracking fiend, so yeah. he has to put on the high destiny back. He's going to hit, he's going to kill two guys. Draw destiny, or draw two destinies, right? Kind of hopefully kill. Yeah, Charlie just trying to cause a little bit more damage here. <laughs> Although he's uh, down in down in power by seventeen so far, plus destiny. Whatever the difference in uh, yeah. destinies will be, and we haven't seen him pull a Haljix heavily at this. Uh, this no, point. no, know. he's really played very little, and now he just he lost two force to the sniper and lost two more force again to P fifty nine. Yeah. So there's a five. Are we, doing, are we doing battle destinies now? Yeah. yeah. So Charlie draws five four. So we're at the thirty eight. Yeah, thirty eight against. So four. that's basically G, basically GG unless uh unless Tom's got the Haljix. Yeah, this would be this would be a bold yeah. play by Tom if he didn't have the Haljix though. So <laughs> I, I would think. I would think he's probably <laughs> fine. So he's down right. 17. Um, and uh, I think Charlie has to lose two guys. Oh, yeah. no, he has the consequential losses. That's right. So maybe you can uh, just you know, sack Gunray, I guess. Then have to sack Gunray. You know, I yeah. actually think he was supposed to sack the other guys first. Well, okay. Uh, no, or no, no escape's been played. So um, reason is if he... Oh, actually, okay. Maybe it's not a should have. Um, if he had forfeited Grievous and Maul first, he would have right. flipped he, in the he could he could have flipped, um, although it's about to be Tom's turn, so I'm sure. Yeah, and I think Gunray would have. I'm sure it would have been. Uh, I'm sure it'd be quickly challenged on the next turn, but. Yeah, well, and I think a pretty reasonable, uh, pretty reasonable line to just, like, on purpose not flip there, 
because uh, as you said, his space the space package isn't very good. Um, we saw the laser cam battery yeah. has already been spent, so that is not available as an option. Yeah, that, that might have been intentional. That's a good, that's a good point. Yeah. My feeling is that the way that uh, the way this deck is designed for Charlie to play it, um, I think it's likely that he just generally doesn't want to flip. Like you, you, you flip if you know you flip if it's just a straight damage race. You get the extra drain too and satisfy your battle plan and whatnot. But in a lot of other in a lot of circumstances, you just you don't need to. So you probably wouldn't bother. Uh, do you think uh, Tom battles in here? Well, I guess I guess yes, nice because Sirius will exclude one of those ability five characters. Probably yeah. probably Luke, right? Oh, still, he, still has two, he still has two more swings with the other two, <laughs> two characters. I'd never seen that before. I didn't realize Sidious could include your characters. Um, but dark side characters? Yeah, it, it says just exclude one character of a bit less than six. Because Charlie's characters lit up when he used Sidious there. I was I trying did, to figure yeah. out why. Didn't know, didn't know you could do that yeah. either. All right. So. All right. So uh, Tom's coming in hot, swinging at Sidious. Got him yeah. with Ray. Uh, doesn't get the retrieval because of coward. One thing to point out here: most of the time, when you see Lord Sidious, right, uh, he has to be alone. But this well, while a feed palace objective on table is right. coming into play here with some invasion, and if you're playing him not an invasion against, uh, we have a plan also lets you exclude even you know even without uh, him being alone. Fifty nine shoots back. I'm assuming it. Ray, I would guess. Ray. Oh, but Tom has to dodge. Is that? Right. Uh, yeah, was that? yeah, that was dodged from Lost File. Wait, from Lost File? Why is must have been, must have been, must have been from Oh, no, no, hand. it was Dodge from Hand. Yeah, Dodge from Hand, Dodge from Hand as well, that's what I was saying. There's no solo yet. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, then O switch off to cancel the Qui-Gon swing. Yeah, no surprise there. Yeah, he draws a five. I think, that, I think that should clear. Yeah, that'll clear the site. Um... And, uh, uh, Charlie. Charlie has to draw a gun to kill everybody and draws a droid, so that'll kill Ray. So, pretty good turn for Tom here to wipe out the site and kill all of Charlie's guys. And they'll see Charlie has a pretty good hand too to, to pretty decent hand to counterattack with, but now he'll have uh, two guys with sticks to deal with, and he has to worry about Astro Luke's. Text, which only a mall will... Oh, no, I guess Nuke on Ray also gets around that, right? Oh, uh, he's, yeah, he's spreading. Nuke, Nuke gets oh, around, he's spreading, yeah. never mind. Uh, that spread allows him to retrieve, because Charlie did not respond Nuke. to it by pulling his uh, secret plan shield. Uh, Charlie was thinking about that, besides he's not going to. So, I, so he's, yeah, he's got right now just three cards down. I'm sure he'll 3 PO him back next, next that's, that's earliest opportunity. Yeah. He'll get that, he'll get that right back. Charlie's going to accelerate. Charlie's looking for an effect. Uh, yeah. Which one? Oh, there's the Phantom Menace. Fa just, Fa just, Phantom Menace makes a lot of sense. We were just talking about you. That that means you're, means you're probably seeing an attack on Qui-Gon coming up here. Yeah, Qui-Gon would be mean, most... mean He'll be mean to all attrition. Um, so the other thing you could do, you could maul into Master Luke planning on snipering him. Okay. This, I mean, this, this is this is a more conservative play that, that I, I think I like better here. Yeah, there's, there's a few ways that can a few more ways that can go wrong though. Um, yeah. Potentially, I've got the got the saber from and doesn't play the first strike, which makes sense. There's no real no real advantage to playing it here. You don't get to retrieve, so okay, we'll redraw. Let's redraw it. Let's redraw another ball. So this thing has got. I think there's a, still a chance that he might miss here. I think there's a four in there. Oh, oh, that's, no. a, oh that's a miss. Yeah, that, that's pretty bad. <laughs> now, um. Oh, and uh, every oh. single one of those, every single one of those draws adds to Tom's Till Bell Destiny too, right? Because of Qui Gon's text. Yeah, so but that's, then, kind of, that's kind of that's kind of fun. Tom made an interesting choice here. He used three PO with his weapon action instead of swinging. Um. I guess he knew. I mean, Tom's pretty good at. But he. Well, he's. Oh, so so, pa so so passes back to Charlie. Charlie spins again. Now he yeah. now he hits. Okay. Yeah, it's just so interesting that, but, because like that, now, that, yeah, but, now yeah, he gets that, a sniper and. Yeah, we'll see if Tom has an answer for that. Tom does play sack sometimes. Yes. 
there's no no sack no sack here so yeah yeah, I might have played a, I might have pulled a sense shield before that battle. Although that, that kind of gives away the game, right, of what you're trying to do. So. All right, he goes over to block. Uh, Luke, I'm not sure you really need to do that. If you're kind of giving a. Yeah, I mean, if he's planning on not pulling battle, if he's not pulling on not pulling battle plan, then it makes some sense. But. I guess I guess I guess he, he was down by like 14 or 15, I think, going into this game. So he has to be a little aggressive to try to. Mm. That's win another, by more, I suppose, another I good suppose. another good point and consideration there. The differential matters in this mm -hmm. game since it's part of a part of a match play tournament. There's so many Jedi lightsaber views. Wow, there's three that we've seen so far. Yeah, did he? He, he didn't retrieve him with Wapa. I don't know if he had some other form of retrieval. I don't. I don't. <laughs> excuse me. I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, he had the ray. Yeah. I don't know if the ray retrieved the. I don't think so. I don't think so because a coward. Yeah, I don't um, think so. Uh, okay, so Tom battles in this. Ray and Luke again. Small. Uh, I would say Maul is Maul is probably in trouble here. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. a, no Jedi there, so he has defense six. And uh, he'll now get to retrieve because he satisfies coward. Yeah. Um. This would be a pretty bad. Gets gets Qui Gon back. Place, right? He did not start at all. Um. He's. So, so he retrieves Qui Gon and Qui Gon's lightsaber in that battle, because uh, he retrieved with General Leia. Oh, because of resistance character, yeah. And nice. now, now Tom has eleven cards in reserve, so he'll be able to activate back down to that Qui Gon next turn, draw it, pull yep, the saber that's, with that's, the Jedi business. That's classic, classic Tom. Yeah. Looks yep. <laughs> <laughs> like Charlie should be able to should be able to clear, but he'll be a down three. Down three power, uh, yeah. unlikely to cause much overflow here. Well, and the other big thing is, uh, Charlie, you have to work <laughs> with with Charlie's deck. You have to work a bit to be able to actually play the saber more than twice, because uh, the effect is gone. Right, you place the effect that'll play to pull up, to play it from loss. But he has two more malls in hand. Doesn't have a saber to go with them. He has the first strike in hand, but he has got a he's got to spread kind of uncomfortably in order to actually. Get first strike. He, he would have to. He, he had to go to two, two sites, which is yeah. not going to be super easy at the current current board state. One um, thing he could do next turn, he could um, play Admiral Trench to the swamp. Ah, uh, then shuttle him up. And yeah. then shuttle him up. Yeah. yeah. That's like, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good. Pretty good play if he's really hoping to get the. Uh, yeah, and he is peeling first, here. First strike something. He is peeling three here. So yeah, the probably, saber will end probably, up on top. Yeah. I was thinking just that, yeah. We'll see how he. Yep, put saber on line. So saber on top. Oh um, yeah, he's got this. Got the seven back in. I don't oh, know if yeah. he has enough to get get that. He should have enough to get back down to it. What's what, what big is it? How big is his reserve deck? It's I can't. His, his, the numbers are kind of. His reserve deck is twelve. Is twelve now that he pulled a he pulled a droid, but he stacked uh, five then seven on top. So he'd be able to play a droid, play a gun, shoot Leia with the gun. Uh, and then draw the seven for battle destiny. Uh, now the gun does reduce forfeit. It doesn't reduce to zero, but it reduces by, it by four. By three. So, in general, way I just laughs at that with her with her yeah. with her printed eight, which is fairly absurd. Um, I think I guess he's just trying to go for a beatdown. Yeah, he, he's he, going he for. He didn't he didn't play the new he didn't play the rune haka to try to get the or, yeah, the, or, the, or, the, or the or the trench, trench, or the trench to, yeah. to try to get the retrieval. Um, which is interesting because it kind of means that that saber is going to be gone, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's he can't get it back now. Yeah, he all. he won't be able to get it back now, and we we already <laughs> went over that. Uh, Tom's going to be able to get back to his Qui Gon if he wants to next turn. So, uh, Charlie really kind of banking on this battle doing a lot of damage. I mean, he is up seven, and he just made Leia forfeit. I think four. Yeah, she should be fourth this four now. So there's a chance of a little bit of overflow here. Uh, oh, the replay is not going to tell you. But yeah, she's minus four. She starts at eight. So So who's Tom swing at? Uh, so Tom swung the, at the, the battle, battle, droid, the battle droid. Droid. Uh, I wonder if this means there's a sni there's a Nope. No, sorry about the knife. Okay. I was cause I, there's a sorry about the mess here. That would be gross. Although I guess he would have sorry in the last battle, right? Like, you just kill Maul. And there's the seven for uh, Battle Destiny. So he's at Charlie's at 18. 
Tom is at nine, so kind of five overflow. Yeah. Not too bad. That'll. Uh... Yeah, you have to send the. Oh, but, uh... he, he is gonna lose Maul here though too. So. Yeah, and everybody. Everybody has to clear everything else out. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I would have gone to I would have gone for retrieving the saber. I think with two malls in hand. I think that, I think that would have been, would have been really big. Um, now I suppose there is the consideration like, well, if, if uh, Tom has a barrier, it's really really bad, right? But we could deploy trench first, I guess. So you get the yeah. ability to. You deploy trench first to find <laughs> out, and then. Well, I'm thinking <laughs> if trench gets barriered, right? That's. Yeah, that's definitely not idea. All right, so now it's a Queen's, Queen uh, Naboo, and as we said, uh, Tom comes right back with a three-period Qui-Gon and yep. retrieve a saber and just draws. Not a big surprise. So uh, we'll just try, we'll try to still have some, some guys to play with here. Um, yeah, but no saber makes it makes it tough. You, you can go Maul and uh, Newt to get the multiple battle destinies. but uh, Yeah, now I didn't count to see where that seven is that he just drew for battle destiny. Uh, I guess Charlie didn't either. <laughs> or he did, but knew it was too low. Because uh, like, uh, he, he could just try to shoot Qui-Gon here, right? That's that's an option, but... I, oh, boy, he's not doing that now. He's going to... Uh, yeah, he's going to go... Over he's going a little, bit, a little bit wide. Maybe he's maybe going to try to... Go over to his own drink, yeah, too. Get, I feel like... Uh, what? Oh, what's 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 this? Is this? He's gonna try to retrieve something. Oh, he, he just is. wants. Oh, oh, he gets to retrieve two by battling with Renhako here. So he gets to retrieve so gets... Maul and a saber. That's, all right, that's clever. Um, uh, now... he has the he has the gift for uh, so he doesn't lose the game instantly. Yeah. So that's of, good too. Of course, one problem with this line is that since you had to place the effect out of play, right? You can't actually pull that saber. You have to just draw it. Yeah, there's no three, no uh, no four lam out to help him. Yeah, like he'll be able he'll be, he'll be able to draw it next turn as long as he doesn't play anything. But like that that saber is going to be floating around a while. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, did he just? Mi oh, okay, he's Jedi. Left. I was like, did he just miss on a ability three character? But probably not. Oh, actually, no. He just took him into hand. Oh, no, he canceled, yeah, he canceled, he, 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 he canceled, canceled, the, canceled the redraw. Yeah. yeah, he canceled the redraw. Okay. So, yeah. Paco is very much it, and uh, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure Charlie will have to play the gig here. Yeah, this seems like kind of a desperation gig, honestly. Like, getting to retrieve the two cards. Like, getting to retrieve the two cards is good, I guess. But... Oh, well, there's the Tidarium Han, so you you were, you were right about that. Yeah, he, he lost the Tidarium, <laughs> in the, he killed the Tidarium in the, in the battle. Uh, okay, I missed, missed that. All right, there's the kick. Tom has the throne room kind of pretty yeah. much on lockdown here. Charlie's down to 20, 23, that, 23, in, 23 in life. So. Yeah, 23 in life, 3 in hands. So he's, uh, he, he only loses a few more cards. So oh, that was his. Still have a shot. That was Charlie's battle. I was I was confused for a minute. That's, yeah. Oh, oh here's the optimistic oh. general. Han uh -huh, that he just drew. He's gonna pick up the chewy, play the chewy. This is this seems like classic Tom stacking, right? Like <laughs> he knew exactly what those three cards were and mm -hmm. got right back down to him. Yeah, now he's gonna cause a force he's gonna cause a first strike ping and retrieval. This is looking pretty bad for Charlie. He's gonna be dead off the top. Yeah, he's got you got extra forfeit from the inconsequential losses, but still he's down. He's down still down six, at least three, yeah. accounting for that. And then uh, I'm, I'm sure Tom probably has a, a destiny track too, because it's Tom. Spent, so. uh, Han's text doesn't apply here, so that's that's something at least. But I guess you shoot. Yeah. You're gonna yeah, we shoot, uh, yeah, shoot, the, shoot the lower forfeit guy, I think. Just yeah, and then, like, having to burn your Hujix to retrieve those two cards is so rough here, because, like, what you'd actually want to do, right, is probably hit Han. Why do you get to add a distance? Oh, it's with any Chewy? It's with any Chewy, okay. If, yeah, you, I, if, I, if you had your Hujix, I would kind of want to, like, hit Chewy and then decline your draw. 
Yeah, yeah that, that that'd be a pretty. Of course, Tom would have just probably moved over then. Yeah, um, he would just move over. But that, but then you've got the then you can take back the um, the throne room. Mm. You can flip, you know, like you're not taking a, you're taking a drain of two instead of three. All right, so this this is probably just about game here, right? Yeah, uh, he's, he's gonna have he's, to he's, peel... gonna be, he's gonna be down eight, I think. Yeah, he's gonna have to peel eight on top of the gun. Um, I don't know what the differential was in the first game, but I think it was about fourteen. Yeah, I mean right. it's it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to even win this game at all, peeling eight here, let alone let alone eight. by having to care about your differential. I don't like that. Why did you lose your rifle from use? So no, he's down to fifteen right now. So I'm pretty sure he has like no margin for error now. Yeah. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think I understand exactly why Charlie lost the way that he did there, but. Do a suicide battle on the, in the Qui-Gon here. Ooh, okay. He's got, he's got, good, he's got, good, you got two, what, two out of three shot at rolling an eight? Eight, eight, four. Well, actually, oh, I guess, I guess a six, a six if he uses sand, though. Uh, yes, and he'll probably use sand, so. Oh, he found the saber. Oh, you got, got a saber. I don't think you can afford to draw this many cards, but I'm not sure putting the B2 joy there is the right is the right move. You're really kind of begging for pain there. Yeah. Uh, um, it's just so easy for anything to go bad here. I mean, but he's he's down about eleven life. Yeah, I think yeah. he's eleven and eighteen. I think, I think he's already probably lost the match at this point. I um, I would think so as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's losing from. Where is this using it? Like Nand. Oh, it is a drain two at the throne room. I forgot. Amidala has to be there. Yeah, but you can get to, yeah, do this battle. You get to yeah, retrieve this... one and. But yeah, who was the other one? Yeah, I'm not sure what that yeah, this... was supposed to accomplish. Um, yeah. But, uh... um, I think it, like invasion. I, I think one of the things with invasion is invasion often like looks pretty bad when you're trying to like control the locations because you're like your characters just aren't that good right but invasion looks really good when you get to like fight into three characters with a b2 guy and a gun and right. kill all of them like what right it wants to be more on the offense yeah for sure but when he's trying to like put a guy down to try to threaten a drain like that he has to pay for all right he's, he's got the, he's got them all Got them all still for one more, one more last hurrah. Although, how much? What's his, what's his life down to now? Uh, 11, no, 11. It's eleven and nineteen. Charlie's uh, gonna get to get, everything. Yeah, it all just to get just to get them all out probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just has to deploy everything and hope. Put up ball and gun rare, I guess, and pass. Yeah. yeah, it seems seems like the option. But he like couldn't even pick up a droid, so. A Jedi Lev to get Mace from Lost. Uh, that's pretty pretty is there, good. Is there really even another saber that he Does Tom really have another saber? Wouldn't yeah. wouldn't shock me. Charlie's just drawing the last two cards. Those two cards would have been great to have if you were gonna do this line, but doesn't do you any good in your hand. Play the nightclub. There's a nightclub. It seems it seems like just insult to injury to put that out at this point, but yeah. well, he gets to satisfy. Oh, he had Mace oh, Windu's lightsaber yeah. too. Oh my god. Uh, so he, he satisfies first strike this way, and uh, all the destinies were fives. I guess there was a four, but warrior's courage, interesting one. Yeah, that, that's a Tom Tech card occasionally. Yeah. Uh, I played it with Stubbly in uh, Rescue the Princess. It's pretty cool in there. Because you have Leia defending a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah I, I, I love it with uh, with that general. Oh, general yeah, Gen generally it's better, yeah, because you get you get three destinies. But I mean, also you're probably playing. You're also a lot of times you have rebel leadership in those decks, so you can uh, really, yeah. you can really, you can really bait them. Uh, I think rebel leadership was responsible for. I think I, I caused like 12, 12 damage in a defensive battle when I was playing like the legend against uh, a main deck. He battled in and missed, and it's like I'll I'll play. Courage and leadership, and I'll draw four destinies. 
Oh, yeah, he drew, he drew his eight. <laughs> All right. We get to takes get care, more takes care of Qui Gon. Just like, just like in the movies, takes out, takes out the Qui Gon. I don't think Yoda ate it too, though. I feel like Yoda's <laughs> probably going to eat it here. This is a more yeah, thematic you. situation than you usually see, <sighs> right? So. Yeah, I guess you're, uh, you're you're praying for if you're trying you're, pr you're praying for overflow here. Um, he, he didn't add the battle lesson yet, did he? Uh, he did not add the battle lesson yet. But sure. he's, he still can. Well, right, because sand has been spent. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, just the bottom to... of the deck are really good, but yeah, your one path here is to. Well, I mean, your path to winning the game is to draw. It calls overflow here, but it still won't be enough for the match, unfortunately. Yeah. Five. Oh, it's but oh yeah, so, not so alone. Four, it's just a five. So fourteen. Charlie will be at. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. He did draw two guns already, so maybe there's another one still there. Sixteen. Okay. Twenty-one. So seven. Yeah, seven. Over seven over four of us. That'll work in a lot of situations. Uh, oh, six. I missed. We missed something. Uh, yeah, but. But, uh... Mm, yeah, I don't know what. But, uh... Yeah, I think, uh... Well, I guess try, try to just have the one... One more left. I think, I think, I think it was down to six because, um... Tom lost before, uh... Oh, uh, before I... Before the four minutes, yeah. Paid attention, okay. So we're just battling into this Qui-Gon. Just, uh... Just, you're going to draw an 8, so there's that, but... Yeah, this is, this is what Evasion is trying to do, I think. He's trying to clear them off. Yeah. No, no, but Mace, Mace, is, Mace is fully immune, right? Yeah, this is, like, the problem with Invasion in a matchup like this is there's so many fully immune Jedi that you're just, like, you have to have weapons to get them. You can't just do a battle like this where you, you're going to draw an 8, so, like, you're going to you're gonna have your maximum battle lesson, but it's not going to not gonna be enough. I think all of I think all of Thomas Destiny's are fives or fours now, so he's gonna be a minimum of eleven against twelve, so I'll have to peel one. Yeah, I'll just if they have make try to lose three the next turn though. Yeah. Yeah, I think losing control of the throne room, that was that was pretty bad. Uh so yeah, Tom is down by one, so Appeal, but then he'll ping for three, and Charlie has what eleven hand hand and life together. Uh, now eight. Oh yeah, eleven hand and life. Yeah, against uh, eleven or against twelve. Oh, and, there's, and there's the concession. Yeah. 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 So. Well, tough. So. Uh, it was a tough matchup for for Charlie. I think like match like decks like this are one of the reasons I think that uh, invasion kind of kind of fell off for a while there. I didn't see Invasion for like a year um, when everyone was playing Yoda Man and things. It's like, Light Side has yeah, like yeah. 14 power yeah. and they're all immune and I can't like... Yeah, that's a tough, tough matchup for sure. Yeah. yeah you, got, you, you, got, you, gotta, you gotta shoot them and they, they, also, they also have tricks to, whether it's deflection or dodge or whatever, they can usually try to work around that. Yeah. Around that too. Yep. All right, so so, so we have a, a little bit of a reprieve now. I think before the move on to the f final four match, right? Yeah, I think they're they're due to start in about twenty minutes. So I think what we're gonna do actually, I'm gonna um, we oh oh, I just noticed there was things in the chat. Um, Tom was watching. He said he said he forgot. Oh oh oh, he forgot that you would use perimeter scan to pull a shield. So he thought he was going to be able to retrieve and he pulled first strike. Oh, okay, that that makes the first strike play make a lot more sense. Because um, I kind of feel like first strike ended up hurting him more than it helped him there because he never got to retrieve with it. But if he thought he was going to retrieve the turn he played it, makes a lot more sense. So thanks for that insight, Tom. Um, what I think sure. we're going to do is I think I'm going to stop the stream so that it'll break it up for uh, uploading later. Uh, and then we will just be back in about 20 minutes for... Um, the quarterfinal match between Tom and Batmouse. 
um, which should be a lot of fun to watch. I think they're only going to play game one tonight, so, um, but we'll have that for you in just a bit, so uh, stick around, so, I guess. Stay tuned. Yeah.